Okay, so what we have here, we've got some live data now uh, from following the steps you've just followed. And so what I'm going to do first of all is make this a little bit larger because uh, my screen is HD, so it's quite small. 24. Okay, and so we've only got these four pairs as default, but let's say if we want to add some more, quite simple. Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and let's add the Australian dollar. You can add any pair you want. And in here in the formula bar, we just simply replace the Euro USD bus and then put it in the Australian dollar USD. And likewise, so that says uh, ask, so that's right, bring the ask bit. Again, it's a little bit laborious, but once it's done, it's done. Uh, we don't need to change that field because the time's the same, it doesn't matter. And this field could be changed too. A U D U S D. Alright, so that's all well and good. We've added currency pairs. You can do equities, commodities, and FX. Um, so let's say we want to measure the distance from the high or the low from the current price. So what we can do is do distance high. Something like that. Make that there. Distance low. Okay. Now, what we can do here, copy these, paste. Okay, so we just do equals sign the high minus bid, live price. So we know we were 10 pips from the high. Okay. So low price minus the bid price. We'll just use the bid price. So, so yeah, we, we actually to see how bullish the US um, Swiss, the Swiss franc, we'd actually rallied 47 pips from the low. So if we were to measure the distance from the high and the distance from the low, we can see that it's actually bullish. You see, so what we can do here, we can do some kind of equation um, where we would take that distance divided by this. And now you see uh, the greater the, the number, then the more bullish it is. So we can apply some conditional formatting what we can do here, we should get that I, that black cross, drag it down. So, what we can have, we can do some conditional formatting now. Um, we can do color scales. No, not that one. That one. Okay. So we knew that the pound USD had a very good day. Uh, 171 pips <laughs> from the low, nine pips from the high. So if you change your conditional formatting so you know that the color reflects there. And also we can see um, that the, the Euro USD was the worst performing just by simply looking at the color and the color scheme. Um, we can probably add one as well, not as add one, copy. And then what we're going to do, we're going to apply a buy sell formula to this. Oops. Let's do this again. Do bear with me. You can see how well the euro pound did. Friday. Hello. That's change of time. Euro 
pound. So you just uh, down here. So we were 119 pips on the high. So that makes that the most bearish pair, as you see by the colour. So what we can do here now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make a second part of this video because I've done a formula, which I need to double check that I've got the formula right. So I'm going to do a two-parter. But this is how you add um, symbols. And for the second part, I'll tell you about the formula and how to get the buy sell uh, triggers. Okay, I'll speak to you soon.